Yo, what is up, everyone? My name is Dom, and we're here to talk about unusual options activity. All right, everyone. So, uh, disclaimer: this video is for educational purposes only. The statements made in this program programming are solely the opinion of the show and are not a specific inducement to make an investment. One must perform their own due diligence to realize that all investments carry risk. There's no guarantee of profit. All right, everyone. Uh, first one I want to bring up is PDD, Pinduo Duo. Now, this is a, 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 a online, online China e-commerce site here. And if we go to these, I believe it's these June options here. You know, there's some pretty unusual volume here. 10,000 contracts traded, open interest of 246. I like that ratio. Pinduo Duo does trade options. So, I mean, to see 10,000 in this thing once in a while is definitely unusual, but not rare. So, you know, come down the time sales and check this out. Uh, it looks like somebody came in here and got 10,000 of the June uh, 120 strike calls for $1,700 each. If you multiply that out, that is a $17 million order somebody put onto these on uh, these calls. So now uh, some interesting things to note here. So when this person bought, so as you can see here, they're buying the uh, June 120 call. The stock is trading at about $131. So right now that's about 11 points in the money. But as you can see here, when they purchased these calls, the stock was at about $126. The low of the day was about 124. So they were coming in at pretty much the low of the day and aggressively, aggressively buying these calls. Uh, there's sometimes, you know, rarely orders like that that I see that cross the tape that are $17 million. That is a huge bet. And if that person, you know, they are clearly bullish on the stock overall. You know, some of these China names have been have been hidden for unusual options activity. Uh, I did not take this trade. I am in. Uh, uh, I was in some Baidu calls. I'm in JD. Uh, we brought up that one on the channel before. I just feel like I have a, a overall general, uh, you know. I don't want to be too too exposed to these uh, China stocks here, you know, because there's some uh, regulatory issues. Uh, so I did not buy these calls, but I will definitely be looking at these ones uh, at the open tomorrow, and you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully this thing trades down tomorrow. But you know, this thing has had a huge pullback. I remember we were talking about on this channel, Pinduo Duo, you know, around this uh, 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 170 level. I think we played it up to this 210 level. Uh, thank God we got out because this thing traded from about 212 down to 130. Now there's just been, uh, I don't think there's any fundamental issues here. I, should, I just think it's a uh, regulatory issue with China. Uh, China's cracking down. Now this is a huge market cap company. I think about $110 billion. Uh, so this is definitely a higher market cap company you know, up there with Alibaba and JD and uh, uh, Baidu. So this is definitely kind of a riskier trade here. You know, I would look to uh, probably put on a vertical spread here and to uh, limit my cost basis and limit my overall risk. That's kind of what I've been doing in this market. Uh, you know, it's like like what I always say, you know, I think that the easy money has been made in this market. So it's getting a lot harder to uh, make money. So I've been doing a lot of vertical spreads here. So, and we'll talk about a vertical spread here. So Macy's. So as you can see here, uh, for this uh, 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 May, here, we'll check out this first. So these May calls here, these May 18 strike calls, and these May 20 strike calls, huge volume, 21,000 contracts traded here, 20,000 contracts traded here, uh, 8,000 contracts traded here for these May 22 strike calls. Mind you, Macy's stock closed at about $16.42, and people are in here buying these uh, May 22 strike calls. Now the order that caught my eye down here is somebody came in and, and they did a vertical spread here, what we talk about on the channel quite a bit here, and that's what I was just uh, uh, alluding to that I that I am doing more lately, is so they bought the May 18 calls, it looks like, and they sold the May 20 calls against it. It looks like uh, in premium, they, lay, they laid out about 67 cents, and what I always say is the most you can make on a vertical spread is the uh, difference between the strikes. So in this case, it's the 18 call and the 22 call. The, the, so the difference of the strikes there is $2. They paid uh, 67 cents here, so they paid about 33% uh, of the uh, strike width. And that's what I try to go for. I try to go, you know, shoot for 30, uh, maximum 40% of the strike width there. So, you know, paying about... 50 cents to make two dollars that's about you know paying 25 percent this person paid 67 cents uh, to make two dollars so you know i like that trade there but you know something to note here is the stock was at about 17 when they were buying these calls here and usually when you do a vertical spread you buy the at the money call and sell a little bit out of the money call so this person is getting a little risky with this trade here uh, because they're buying the 18 strike call when the stock was at 17 dollars you know, uh, I saw this trade after the close, so I was not able to put it on. This is definitely a trade that I'm going to be looking at tomorrow, though. What I would probably do here, 
you know, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a, my thoughts here. I'd probably buy the May 17 strike call and I would sell the 19 strike call. So, you know, that puts your break even at about uh, uh, $17.71. That's because if we get filled at the midpoint here, we're paying 71 cents. And, you know, our low strike is 17. So 17 plus 71, your break even on May 21st would be 17.71. If you wanted to get a little more aggressive with it, which is what I might do here. Uh, I might do the May 17, 20 strike call. We're paying about 92 cents to make $3 because 17 strike and uh, the 20 strike. So that's a, a difference of $3 there. And it looks like here if we got filled at the midpoint, which I always try and do, we would uh, pay about 92 cents for that. So that's less than 33% uh, of the strike width there. So I never pay like, you know, a dollar to make two. I like to pay, you know, 92 cents to make $3 or 67 cents to make $2, you know, something around that 33% uh, pay 33% of the width of the strike. So it's like make a dollar to uh, make three. It's like risk a dollar to make three. So that's what I try to go for here. And I'd probably sell this 20 strike call here because if we, you know, cap the upside out at the 20 strike call, because if you look here, you know, Macy's has had a heck of a run here for the year. You know, pre-pandemic highs about uh, 16. So, you know, it's above, you know, almost a, it hit above its pre-pandemic high here. Now, this is why I would probably look to sell the 20 call here because it looks like the high for uh, the 52 week high is about $20.83. So, you know, I would look to sell that 20 strike call and cap out my profits at $20 because I think there will be some technical resistance there uh, just above the 20 strike. So, uh, once again, I saw this Macy's trade after the close. So, I'll be uh, probably most likely putting this one on tomorrow unless Macy's stock is way up. And uh, by then, I would say we missed it. But, you know, Macy's has had a nice pullback here. That's why this one is intriguing you know 52 week high is about uh well at least you know the high about a week ago or so is about uh 21 dollars trade down to 16 so i like someone who's buying a dip you know that was about a 1.4 million dollar trade that that person put on uh, buying the 18 call and the 20 and uh, uh shorting the 20 call against it i would probably do the 17 and the 20 strike call uh that's probably what i'm going to be doing so Always remember, everyone, uh, I'm here to tell you guys, you know, what I do, how I think about things. You know, hopefully you guys can uh, uh, use that to your advantage. You know, I'm not here to tell you guys what to do. Always remember that these videos are for educational purposes only, and I'm just going through, you know, kind of my thought processes, you know, so hopefully uh, everyone can learn from that. So thanks to everyone who's been subscribing. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying the trades. You know, it's a little bit tough over a market to make money. You know, that's why we're going to be doing vertical spreads. So thanks to everyone who's been subscribing. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one.